Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. It is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future, and then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person or whoever's on your mind. All right, so, okay, we have the Nine of Swords, or the, I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords that wanted to pop out there. So if you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I am available for personal readings. That information is in the description box below or in the About section of my channel. All right, so the Ten of Swords is popping out. I'm going to place it in your recent past. So it looks like there's something that you've just decided you're done with. Um, there's some pain. Maybe you have come to a place of understanding that you don't want to sit in the energy of that pain or something that had been lingering for some time. So it feels like a lot of releasing. Let's see what else comes out for you after that card. Okay. So then we have the Queen of Cups. So there's a big emphasis on balancing out how you feel about yourself in those situations that have been... I want to say that you've been pondering so that you've been going over mentally. A part of you may realize that there's still a little bit of work on your self-worth issues that uh, pop up for everybody. But in this case, I'm going to say it's really important for you to balance some of this energy out. It could have been in all your relationships that you were dealing with. There's something where you just weren't feeling, in a sense, good enough. And that definitely can affect how we react um, project and experience any kind of relationship. So the justice is coming in to say that you're finally figuring out a way to balance out the emotions around that energy. So in the current we have, yeah, and that makes sense because you've probably dealt with quite a few people that have either done you wrong, lied to you, misled you, um, made you feel as though you had to question your reality at times. The Ace of Pentacles says, with the way spirits coming across is that you have a new opportunity to really work through this and focus on something that's going to be a little bit more tangible, realistic, balanced, something that feels really good to you that motivates you. And then we, yeah, and then we have the nine of cups. So this is about figuring out what is going to fulfill you the most. It takes a long time for us to really get to know ourselves and understand why certain relationships didn't work out. I think we always are going through that. We're having better understanding and better understanding of why we put up with the things that we did, why we didn't feel very good in those relationships, whether it be that there was a sense of low self-esteem, not feeling worthy, whatever those feelings are, a person will show up in your life to trigger them. And it's to work on you coming to a place where you love you first, yes, it is a repetitive energy that comes up in readings, but it's important because my goal is to hopefully help mentor you into a place where you have gotten so good with you that people can't show up in your space that don't appreciate you for you. And we have to love ourselves first in order for us not to take on those energies or have them show up. So I feel like you're coming to that balance. It's a great feeling. Um to finally be there where you know, okay, I'm not accepting less than what I deserve because I know who I am. I know that I deserve the same type of love that I give and I'm not going to ignore any kind of signs that somebody's not being genuine or real. And if I feel like it's a lie, I'm not going to ignore it. No matter how attracted to that person I may be or that situation that I may be, I know that I have the opportunity. I have the choice to make for myself, nobody else can make that for me, to move on and go for something that is going to be more fulfilling to me. All right, so in the near future, we have the world in reverse with the Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands. So this is going to be that challenge type of energy for those of you that are coming out of a situation or you have been for a while and you're looking for a new love experience. This is going to be one of those tests in the near future saying, okay, we're going to bring you a new love opportunity where you have focused primarily on loving you, but something still hasn't shifted and changed. So have you learned these lessons? When we bring this new opportunity to you, are you going to repeat the same things or do you still have some learning to do around 
how to be fully in that self-love, not mentally, but that self-love place where it's like, no matter what, nobody's going to get past my proper boundaries, the, the way that I desire a relationship. So let me point it out in a way that hopefully will make sense. Each one of you has different desires, different needs in a relationship. If you have figured that out and you know that these people have been there to trigger whatever it was that was not in balance, some things we're all going to have self-esteem issues, sometimes self-worth issues. But in this case, it could be that you have to decipher, is this the type of relationship that I want? Is this going to be good for me? Have I really figured out what's going to make me happy? Because that's when you have to decipher what person's going to be the right person for you. Cause it's not going to be the same just cause you're all Capricorns doesn't mean that you all have the same needs. You have different charts. So spirits like, okay, we want to put you through this to make sure that you understand and that you have fully learned the lessons that your need and desire to be independent is so important, especially in the time we're living in now that you need to, acquire this first before you can be in a relationship with somebody else and it find the balance that you desire and then bring you the joy that you're hoping for. All right. So then the King of Cups was coming out in reverse. So there's something about an energy of someone who might come across as a little bit emotionally unavailable, but they also seem to have in the same token, an energy of being very stable. So if you've just met somebody in the near future, um, if you haven't met them yet and you do meet them, you may find that they're just a little closed off. But it isn't necessarily that they're closed off completely. I don't sense that. I feel like they just take things a little bit slower. They know that they also have to make sure that the person that they're looking for is someone who's as grounded as they are, who needs and wants and desires the same things that they do. All right, so let's clarify what we've got going on with the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Cups. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. You've already experienced people who don't show emotions. So this is that same scenario. I hate to say it, but it, it really is. It's a very similar scenario. It's like you're still working through how do I deal with people who show up in my world but really don't bring the emotions that I have for them or that I desire. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. And it's like it it almost stops before it starts. Even if you were in a situation for a long period of time, Spirit's in a way kind of trying to pull that opportunity away and create some kind of balance so that you recognize that this is not what you want to keep experiencing. You don't want to repeat that same cycle. Now, with the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords in reverse. So it gets you out of a place, that self-imposed, um, restrictive kind of energy and takes you from a mental space to a more grounded, kind of methodical um, way of looking at things. It's also, yes, the emotions are there, but you're not stuck in your head about it. You realize what it had to accomplish in your life, like what how it had to push you and drive you. So something new is going to be coming up. If we just talk basic card reading for a second, if you've been stuck in um, a situation where you didn't feel like you were moving forward in your career, this is something that's going to pop up and they want to make sure that you know the truth, that you follow what feels right to you and it will help get you out of a place of feeling like you've been trapped for a while. So there's something new that's going to get you out of that and it's going to make you happy. Uh, is it news? It could just be something that happens around your work sector. And it's like somebody says, oh, here's a new contract for you to work on. Or here's something that you can focus on that's also going to help if you are on a commission base. It's going to help bring you more money. Um, it's going to make you happy, whatever that is that's popping up. And then we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So it's trying to get you back to a place where you feel really, really in control of your circumstances. So the world in reverse with the Ace of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. So allowing things that had created any kind of discontent, emotional um, sorrow, th those things are being released. But at the same time, this cycle hasn't quite ended. So you may feel like 
screaming at the universe and saying, why am I being put through this test again? Because the lessons are, are really important. Loving yourself and putting yourself first can be really hard, especially when you desire having a partner in your life and you don't want to wait for all that stuff to happen. But the wait is worth the squeeze is what I want to say, because you'll get a person that's going to be with you long term. And if you wait it out and you do this work, it's going to be a much happier relationship. So if you're at that place where you're feeling a little bit like, God, I just want to find the person that I want to be with and that gets this going, well, there's always going to be something that pops up that's going to create some kind of challenge or lesson. So even if we do find that and we think that's our ideal place, don't think that just because that happens and this person is good and you're on the same level, they're not a liar, cheater, or whatever, then you still are going to work through some lessons with them. Will they be as difficult as the ones in the past? I don't think so because there's so much that's already been learned. All right, so with the Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands, we have the Two of Wands. This is you in that thing I always talk about, wanting to know exactly what's going to happen in the future. Releasing that is what Spirit's trying to get you to change. So if you're still in the unknown and it's really, really uncomfortable, there's still a little bit more work to do around getting comfortable with not knowing exactly what's coming. That is so much easier said than done. I get it. Everybody wants to know that we're going to have a good outcome for something. But creating good in the current circumstances helps you get into an energetic space of being able to take anything that comes at you and it allows you to just kind of go with the flow of things. So if this new opportunity shows up, I'm going to say really take a look at it. Make sure that you give it the attention it needs and decipher whether it's worth investing in or not. If that is a test or if it's really someone who's going to be there long term with you, if that's what you desire. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. Now we will focus on the person that is on your mind. So let's do that. Let's see what energy they're priming. Okay, this is going to be a time. And like it's, it's the next 10 days. It could go out as far as a couple of weeks. But there's something that still needs to be worked through and, and closed out. And you're probably feeling it. You probably know what I'm talking about. It could be um, a relationship or somebody that you're still working through some emotions around. Um, in general around relationships and why they were the way that they were. So that cycle is hopefully coming to an end soon, but you're still working through some of that energy. Okay, so let's take a look at the person on your mind. Okay, so their energy right now, we've got the Three of Pentacles. I feel like somebody's got their, their focus primarily on work situations or other people outside of the relationship itself. So there's some changes that need to happen within their life and that may be what they're waiting on. And then, the, yeah, I was going to say before they truly offer up the kind of relationship that you're hoping for. Now, right now, they may seem like they're pulled back as far as being connected on a, a deeper level. Like they may not seem like they're very passionate about it. I think they want to make a small offer. So that may not seem like they're giving because their attention is in other places. They're going through some changes that haven't quite happened yet or they've been through one that was massive and they realize they have to focus their attention on probably their work sector and that as far as being really passionate or into something, they just can't be as invested there. So you may feel like they're not offering exactly what you're hoping for at this point. So the Knight of Cups is your energy wanting to give love. Seeing a future, wanting to see the future, there may be a little bit of internal battle for you around this because you desire a future and you want to offer love to someone. You want to offer it and receive it in return. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So it seems like you're willing to put the work in and maybe be a little bit patient is what I'm going to say. It's like you're keeping your head down and saying, you know, I'll focus on work and I'll do the things that I need to do, but I really could possibly see a future with this person. And then justice is coming in to balance things out, which is great. So if they're just going uh, through something where their attention is a little bit off over the next couple of weeks, that makes sense. They just don't bring a lot right this moment. Doesn't mean that things won't progress. We'll see in just a minute if they're going to. All right. What messages do we have for Capricorn? 
So we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. I'm gonna say open up to it, because even if they're slow, I still feel like they're interested. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. That could be, you could find that there's just a little bit of a difference there. They have a certain way of thinking, but it doesn't mean that they're not open to the way you look at things. Typically, when you're a very spiritual person, if you're meeting somebody outside this world, it can be a little bit tough to integrate that. So it may be that they question your thought processes, but I think it'll be okay. Unrequited love, there's not enough love or attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You may be questioning that. It's because they're holding back um, the ability to show what they feel, right? They, they're holding back on that. They're just not showing it to you in a way that feels the same way that you're giving it. It doesn't necessarily mean that they don't feel it. I'd tell you if they didn't. Right now, it just seems like they're not able to show it. Separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You may pull back your energy a bit if you feel like this person just isn't showing up the way you need them to. And of course, it's going to be a little different for all of you. So if they're pulling back and you don't feel like they have a true desire to continue with you, you may want to take a break for a while and tell them to go figure it out. And then we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I think that's more the person, Three of Pentacles. They're needing to focus on getting things together in their work life, in their business life, in their finances, whatever that means. All right, so let's see where this is going to go. Let's see what their next actions are and if they're going to make a more of an effort. Yeah, it looks like it. Eight of Pentacles means that they want to put the work in. But again, that Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. So it just seems like they're kind of back and forth. They want to, but I don't know that they're willing to put in the full amount of work at this point. So it could be something that really does move slowly. It's a big burden for them and they just don't want the stress or the burden of a full-on relationship at this point. So they could be holding back. And if it, it does mean that you need to take some time apart, that could just be what helps move things along for them so they can get themselves together. Temperance in reverse, I think you are losing patience with this person. I don't think you want to wait around. You were willing to at some point. But you may, with the Knight of Wands, say, I just need to focus on things that I'm really passionate about. Or you may be enticed to go find somebody else if they don't show up. Two of Pentacles, I don't think you want to wait around for this person to make a decision. You realize that, look, if somebody's not going to choose me now then I'm going to go find what it is that I desire. Yeah. The lover's in reverse. So it, it, there's going to be a decision that needs to be made. If they're not showing up and you don't, and it's been long enough and you don't think they're going to, then there's a good chance that they may be just too distracted with their life right now. Okay. Let's see what the lover's oracle has for you. This is for Capricorn. No, I want to get the right. Okay. This one feels right. It says, surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. For some of you, this may be something from the past and you just realized, I can't put my energy in this anymore. I need to. Surrender it. Um, sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. If you can just accept the circumstances and you've been with them for a long period of time and you know that they go through these patterns... That's different, but for those of you where you feel like they're not, or they've never shown up and they're not doing it, then I can see where you might make a decision to just throw your hands up. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. And then we have, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So there's a lot about giving each other the space to be obviously what it's saying, yourselves, independent of each other. That's the energy of what we're working towards <clears throat> now versus what we used to see relationships as 30, 40 years ago. It's not the same thing. We're working from a different space. We are in such a different place astrologically and otherwise that people are having to adjust what relationships look like now versus what they used to. So depending on your age frame, you may still be conditioned to believe hey, we get together and this is what it looks like and that's how it's all laid out. And if it doesn't happen that way, I'm not going to be happy. So I think some of you are working through shifting from one mindset to the other. Okay, let's see what other cards we have. 
this is really just about you these next 10 days and working through some of those feelings of why do I feel like I'm not valued? What is it? Is it there are areas where you don't value yourself or you criticize yourself? That's what I feel like you need to work through over the next couple of days. Mending, there could be some mending that needs to be done with you specifically. So in the next couple of months, you could be born on the 7th. But as far as mending with this person, that's possible too. And then we have two, yin, a lot of feminine energy popping up. So there may be a lot of emotions. You may be feeling more like masculine or feminine doesn't matter. When the feminine comes up, we connect that with our emotional side. The more like sometimes I just feel like crying and you don't know why, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. So there, there's going to be some balancing that's happening or you might just feel a little emotional. And then we have flexible. Yeah, be be patient with yourself. Try to be flexible while these changes happen because it's bringing to you to a new state of mind with that 10. Now you could be born on the 10th as well or the second. And then we have time for a nap. Some of you, yeah, you may feel like, okay, I'm just exhausted. I need to take a step back. Like this is overwhelming emotionally. I need a break. I need something just for me. So time for a nap could be stating that. The six could be important the day you're born or some other significance with six. You could be seeing six o'clock. Something about six is on the clock is what I want to say. Now, the overall is observer and that reduces to a 13. I say this a lot in the readings, but you need to step back over this period of time and really observe your life from an outsider's perspective if you can. Sometimes it helps us put things back into perspective. So there's something about a 13 that could be significant, that number specifically for someone, or again, that could be your birthday. We're getting you out of that round and round cycle so that things don't keep repeating themselves. All right, my loves, that was your reading. Thank you so, so much for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you'd like a personal reading, that info's in the description box or in my about section of my channel. I hope you have an amazing 10 days getting through this stuff. I know it's tough, but I hope you do. Sending you so much love. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.